Basketball shooting coach, Coach Troy here. And what I want to do is I want to give you another game that you can work on your shooting elements with. This one's called Zero Backwards. So how this works is you're going to pick any number between 5 and 10. So for the practical purposes, I'm going to pick the number 5. And then you're going to pick a spot on the floor. Any spot you want, go ahead and stay in your range, work on your fundamental shooting elements, work on your capacity knockdown shots so it's not a struggle. And after you do this specific area, then you can always pick another area from the floor and go from there. But how this works, I'm going to pick the free throw line and this drill is called zero backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say five. My goal is when I come out, I'm going to work on my execution of pivot footwork and shooting to make it. Every time I make one, I subtract one. So if I start with five, I make my first one, I'm down to four. I make my second one, I'm down to three. If I miss, I add back up, four. If I miss again, I'm back up to five. If I miss again, I'm up to six. What you want to do is set a cap. If you start bricking real bad, we don't want you going to 50. What I normally do is say, um, pick your number, you're working to get the zero as fast as possible, but if you're missing, you want to tap out at maybe 25. But again, you want to battle, so you want to stay in that game to make sure that you're making shots efficiently, as effectively as possible. So for me, I'm going to do five to start with. Let me do a quick demo. Again, if you miss, you add one. If you make, you subtract one. Your goal is to get the zero. So here we go, zero backwards. I'm just going to come out and pivot. That's four. That's three. Here we go again, I'm working on it. Oh, that's missed. So add one back to it, now I'm back at four. Catch a pivot, that's three. Again, I'm trying to do this efficiently, effectively as possible, working on footwork, square into the target. Oh, I'm back to four again. Square up, take your time, down to three. Two. Again, trying to get to zero as quickly as possible. Not sacrificing fundamentals. You got one more. Woo. There you go. Again, the goal is to be as efficient as possibly can. Let's say I did that one. Pick another spot. If you need to increase your number so you can work battling backwards, do that. But it's a fun game just to work on your shooting so you're not just staying stationary, catch and shoot. So if you want, check out some of my other videos, some other skill drills, some basketball insight, or if you're looking for some fun competitive ways by yourself to work on your jumper, this is one that you can check out. So I'll catch you next time on the Basketball Shooting Coach.